This video is closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. Hello, travelers. Welcome, everybody. This is Anthony, also known as the Travel Droner. Here on this channel, we create videos discussing amazing travel facts and amazing destinations. Join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top 10 places to visit in Sweden. Sweden located in northern europe is best known for its architecture heritage museums and scenic sites only 500,000 people visited the country last year in 2020 due to the pandemic normally they get around eight to nine million tourists a year if you are planning a vacation to sweden here are the top 10 places you should visit number 10 the royal palace the Royal Palace is located on Stachholdum in Stockholm's Galma Stan. It serves as the official house of Sweden's monarch and includes the offices of the king and other members of the royal family. Nicodemus Tessin, the younger, was the mastermind planner behind the palace. As of 2009, the palace's interior consists of 1,430 rooms, of which only 660 have windows. It also serves as the home of the Bernadotte Library. The Royal Court of Sweden's offices is housed in the palace, which employs roughly 200 people. Since 1523, the royal guards have guarded the palace and the royal family. The change of ceremonies is the main attraction that draws tourists to this location. It is hosted in the palace's exterior courtyard. This palace is divided into three rows, each of which has a different portrayal. The northern row signifies power, the southern row the nation, and the eastern row the female qualities or the queen. These rows are filled with stunning statues and sculptures, which is one of the main draws of this location. Even though it is owned by the government, this location attracts thousands of tourists each year. Number 9. Drottingholm Palace The Swedish royal family's private house is Drottingholm Palace. It is one of Sweden's royal palaces and is located on the island of Leuven. It was built in the late 16th century and served as the Swedish royal court's usual summer retreat for the majority of the 18th century. The palace is a renowned tourist attraction in addition to being the private residence of the Swedish royal family. The palace cathedral, theater, and gardens are the principal draws of this location. The palace church was finished in 1746. People still worship in it, and it contains a common organ from 1730, which is still in use. The Drottingholm Palace Theatre is the palace's opera house, which fascinates the tourists. It is still in operation, and the Royal Swedish Opera Company performs there on different occasions. The gardens and park areas that surround the castle and its structures are one of the key attractions for the tourists who visit the palace every year. The garden is built on different platforms. Each platform has its different ambience. The garden is divided into two sections, the Baroque Garden and the English Garden. Both gardens have several statues placed across the grounds. Going through all of the sites might be a once-in-a-lifetime event. Therefore, this location is worth seeing. Number 8. National Park Sarik for those people who are captivated by natural beauty, this place is a must-see. This circular-shaped park of 50-kilometer diameter was formed in 1909. This park contains 13 peaks that are higher than 2,000 meters and 200 summits that are higher than 1,800 meters. There are approximately 100 glaciers in this area. Hikers and mountaineers mostly enjoy this destination, but if you are not one of them, you can still enjoy this place as there are several breathtaking views of mountains and glaciers all over the park. However, tourists are urged to be accompanied by a guide because the tracks are not designated and there are only two bridges nearby. Because there are no utility stores nearby, you should bring all of your supplies with you when visiting this location and make sure to keep all the necessary stuff with you, including a first aid kit. Number 7. Turning Torso this is a place for you to go if you admire tall structures. This skyscraper is a residential structure that combines to making the skyline of the city more beautiful than it already is. It is situated in Malmo, and it is thought to be the world's first twisted building. The building is 190 meters tall, has 54 stories and 147 units. This structure has received multiple skyscraper honors. The building's construction began in the summer of 2001 and was completed in the summer of 2005. It has been open to the public 
since then, the building's roof is 190 meters high, and from there, a panoramic view of the city can be seen. The structure's distinctiveness and the view of the city from the top make this a must-see destination. Number 6. Skara Samarland have you been to a Disneyland? If yes, then you know what fun feels like. Skara Samarlin, no yes, AB is a Swedish company that owns and operates amusement and theme parks. There is a water park, a fun fair, a go-kart track, tamer rides, roller coasters, play fields, and summer activities for children, as well as a camping complex with cottages and apartments and spaces for caravans and tents. The park is open from May to September and receives approximately 350,000 visitors every year. So, if you want to add some fun-filled adventure to your trip, you know where to head to. Number 5. Technology Museum This is the Museum of Technology, which will be our next stop on our tour. The Swedish National Museum of Science and Technology is a museum in Stockholm, Sweden, with a national charter to preserve the Swedish culture legacy related to technological and industrial history. It is the world's largest technology museum and Sweden's most visited attraction. The museum's galleries are around 10,000 square meters in size, and it draws draws approximately 350,000 visitors every year, according to its website. The collections consist of more than 55,000 antiques and artifacts, 1,200 shelf meters of historical records and documents, 200,000 drawings, 800,000 photographs, and more than 40,000 books, among other things. In addition, the National Museum of Science and Technology documents inventions, techniques, anecdotes, and recollections to preserve them for future generations to enjoy and benefit from. It may also be a contribution to a great vacation for children, and you will be surprised by the variety of unique and interactive attractions available. Number 4. Riddar Holman Church Riddar Holman Church is a former medieval abbey church in the Swedish capital of Stockholm. The church serves as the final resting place for the majority of Swedish monarchs who are buried there. The Riddar Holman Church is located on the island of Riddar Holman, close to the Stockholm's royal palace, and is a popular tourist destination. It was dissolved in 1807, and the church is now used exclusively for funerals and memorial services. In this cemetery are buried all of Sweden's rural from Gustavus Adolphus through Gustav V, as well as preceding monarchs Magnus III and Charles VIII. This former royal burial ground was decommissioned in favor of the royal cemetery, and it is presently handled by departments of the Swedish government and the royal court. One of Stockholm's earliest structures, with components dating back to the late 13th century when it was built as a Grey Friars monastery, it is also one of its most important. Immediately following the Protestant Reformation, the monastery was closed, and the building was transformed into a Lutheran church. Construction of a spire designed by Flemish architect William Boy began during the region of John III, and it was damaged by a lightning strike on July 28, 1835, and was rebuilt with the current cast iron structure. Number 3. Cathedral of Uppsala Uppsala Cathedral is a cathedral located in the center of Uppsala between the University Hall and the Phyrus River. Uppsala Cathedral is the seat of the Archbishop of Uppsala, the primate of Sweden, and is a church of the Church of Sweden, the national church in the Lutheran tradition. It is also the final resting place of King Eric IX, who became the nation's patron saint and the traditional venue for the coronation of new kings of Sweden. Anje Jacqueline is the current archbishop, while Karen Johansson is the current bishop. The cathedral was built in the late 13th century and is the tallest church in the Nordic country, standing at 118.7 meters. It was originally constructed under Roman Catholicism and was used for coronations of Swedish monarchs for a long time after the Protestant Reformation. Several of its chapels have been transformed into graves for Swedish monarchs, notably Gustav Vasa and John III. Here are also buried Carolinius, Olas, Rudbeck, 
Emmanuel Swedenborg and various archbishops, French architects, notably Etienne de Bonneville created the church in the French Gothic style. Number two, the Ice Hotel. It is your childhood desire to visit and live in an igloo? If so, you should not miss a visit to this location. The Ice Hotel is a hotel that is rebuilt each year with snow and ice in the northern Swedish village of Jukaseve, about 17 kilometers from Karuna. It is the first ice hotel in the world. Since its first debut in 1990, the hotel has been refurbished annually from December to April. The hotel, including the chairs and beds, is made entirely of snow and ice from the neighboring Torn River. Artists are invited to design various ice rooms and decorations. Aside from the suites, there is an ice bar with ice glasses and an ice chapel, which is popular with newlyweds. The temperature in the structure remains below freezing, around 5 degrees Celsius. Number 1. Kungstrad Garden Kungstrad Garden is a park in central Stockholm, Sweden. It is colloquially known as Kungsen. The park's central location and its outdoor cafes make it one of Stockholm's most popular hangouts and meeting places. It also hosts open-air concerts and events in summer while offering an ice rink during winters. There are also many cafes, art galleries, and restaurants, for example. Galerai Dr. Glass, a name taken from the novel Dr. Glass by Heimar Soderberg. Published in 1905, the park is divided into four distinct spaces. Square of Charles XII, Molens Fountain, Square of Charles XIII, and Fountain of Wolodarski. The park is administered and events in it are organized by the Stockholm Chamber of Commerce. We hope you enjoyed this video. Which place would you like to visit from the list? Let us know in the comments section below the video. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you will be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.